so it's not possible to uh, design a system in one hour or 130 minutes okay so i create one framework okay you can use this framework for uh, creating the whole design okay oops concept okay so oops concept contain like class object polymorphism abstraction inheritance encapsulation so solid principles have like single responsive principle open close principle list cost principle interface segregation principle dependency inversion principles okay i suggest you to uh, cover all these uh, questions okay for example uh, design atm machines uh, parking spots design tic tac toe snake and ladder book my show elevator system vending machine hotel management system then car pooling like ola uber then car rental then linkedin file system quick bus rate limiter distribution cache then uh battleship type head these are the overall example like jira and all the stuff hello coders welcome to day of white school i hope all of you are doing great so in this video we focusing on low level design roadmap for 2024 so low level design is not only important for interview perspective but it is also important for building a great product this video is essential for both experienced person also and a fresher person also because in last two years i observed that now uh, companies are asking a low low level design question to a freshers also so if you are come in any particular range like if you have a if you are a fresher or you are like two to three years experience or you come in a higher level experience you can refer this video so whatever knowledge and experience i gain in past seven years i uh, took more than 300 interviews so whatever experience i have okay what are what are what are the framework i follow okay so i will try to share in this uh, video okay so i create a specific framework for low level design also which come come under system design and also uh, i create a machine coding framework also okay so that very helpful to you and it is totally out of so i highly suggest you to watch this video till end don't skip anything because there is no shortcut to become a successful okay <laughs> if you are new to our channel i highly suggest to subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon so whenever we upload new video you get a notification of that okay and we we create one telegram group uh, for our dev byte school community members you can scan this qr code and link also in a description you can uh, join the telegram group in that group we are sharing interview tips and tricks uh, all resource link and our in videos update over there so please join so without wasting any time let's jump to our system and let's start design you need have a basic knowledge of any programming language like uh, java python or c plus plus okay after gathering the basic knowledge of uh, any programming language you jump to a uml diagram so what is a uml diagram so uml diagram is basically a sequential diagram then flow diagram there were there class diagram over there i will show you one example which i designed when i uh, preparing for an interview okay so uh, the flow diagram is basically in in the basically sequence so it is basically ticket booking app okay where user are logging to a system then user able to search a movie tickets okay then user select a particular seats okay after selecting the uh, seats uh, user make a payment okay then push notification send an sms send an email send okay then after booking confirmation user able to booking history okay so this is called a flow diagram okay after that you need to have a basic knowledge of a class level diagram okay so what is a class uh, diagram basically so di class level diagram basically whatever entities you have in particular your business logic okay so you need to convert that your entities in a class level and whatever properties and behavior that particular class i have you have you to mention for example interview give you example uh, like uh, design a book my show or design a snake and ladder or design a atm machine so whatever entities you have to design that so here for example uh, in our book ticket booking system you we have user entity then address entity then a booking service over there okay then user have pro properties like user id username email id password and role uh, then behavior like uh, user able to book ticket user able to cancel a ticket or user able to uh, check a booking history okay so you can uh, study a basic uh, class level diagram concept like plus is represent uh, for a public um, 
data type like uh, minus is represent uh, like uh, uh, private okay so like that okay after that like two sections over there first section represent a uh, properties then second se section represent a uh, behavior i will create a separate video in another playlist okay so this is the whole overall class level diagram okay after clearing a class level diagram you need to uh, uh, jump to a sequential diagram so sequential diagram is nothing but uh, the flow between the two entities for example for example logging operation so user uh, send username password okay then response come with a jw token then user logging to a system then user perform some save operation so request represent by a dark line okay then response uh, response represent by dotted line okay so sequential diagram is not important at that level okay you can study a flow diagram okay and a class level diagram i will explain you why this diagrams is important in uh, when we uh, jump to the interview of uh, frame framework okay so after uh, completing uml diagram you need to jump to a oops concept okay so oops concept contain like class object polymorphism abstraction inheritance encapsulation okay again i highly suggest you like i suggest you to all videos don't um, read only theoretical stuff and don't uh, take a to, don't prepare example like uh, uh, car object engine okay don't uh, create example like that okay take one real time example okay and try to convert that in a business logic for example design a atm machine or design a ticket booking system or a designer snake a ladder okay how you use this uh, uh, all this oops concept in uh, converting that business logic uh, to your project okay so that is important okay because when you giving a interview okay you have only 130 minutes to impress your interview after that completing oops concept you need to jump on solid principles okay so solid principles have like single responsive principle, open close principle, discourse principle, interface segregation principle, dependency inversion principles. Okay. So these are the principles over there. Okay. I I will create a separate video of, for this. Okay. But it it take time like one or two week maybe. So I suggest you to uh, follow uh, two YouTube uh, channels. Okay. One is Sudo Code. Okay. And second is Concept and Coding. Okay. I will share you the link in a description you can go there and watch that okay and whenever uh, we done with our solid principles and oops concept videos we will share that uh, in our telegram group then you need to jump to a design patterns okay there are lots of design patterns over there okay like creation design pattern over there singleton factory abstract factory builder over there then observer design pattern adapter decorator strategy facade over there okay so these are the top nine uh, design pattern which mostly ask in an interview okay like whatever interview i uh, take uh, take as a interviewer uh, or whatever interview uh, whatever uh, uh, appear as a candidate in particular interview so these are the top nine question asked me in the various interview so i suggest uh, you first complete this all uh, design patterns and jump to another design pattern okay I will provide you the reference link um, in a description and here also. So after completing all design patterns, okay, I suggest you to uh, cover all these uh, questions, okay. For example, uh, design ATM machines, uh, parking spot, design tic tac toe, snake and ladder, book my show, elevator system, vending machine, hotel management system, then car pooling like Ola Uber, then car rental, then LinkedIn file system, Crickbus, rate limiter, distribution cache, then uh, battleship type head these are the overall example like jira and all the stuff okay you can uh, design um, at least a 10 to 15 uh, system so you get idea so it's not possible to uh, design a system in one hour or 130 minutes okay so i create one framework okay you can use this framework for uh, creating the whole design okay so first is understanding the question okay so whenever interview give one question uh, design a ticket booking system so after understanding the question you need to write down a functional requirement and non-functional requirement okay this is step one understanding the question write down functional non-functional requirement okay after that you need to discuss uh, the whole solution okay 
the whole business logic the overall business logic with the interviewer okay when the interviewer agree on that particular business logic or concept what you discuss okay then you need to start on writing the code okay so first step clear uh, clear your functional non functional requirement discuss with your interviewer if interview ask you any cross questions just clarify that and when interview agree with your question then jump to a coding okay so after you done with coding okay just uh, after 30 minutes you can uh, jump to a demo demonstrate uh, state your whole uh, concept with interview till time is remaining okay you can do one thing you can ask the interviewer if there is there in, any improvement is there in system we can add any feature or what okay so uh, additional tips is like uh, you need to time pro- manage your time properly okay you need to adapt you need to be adaptable in a interview because each and every every interview have different behavior and different way of thinking okay so if interviewer not agree on one particular topic okay you need to don't need to argue with that interviewer you can just uh, politely uh, ask a cross question and you can agree on particular questions and then go ahead okay and in the whole journey of a interview you need to communicate with the interviewer you not quiet keep quiet and writing your business logic because sometime what happened we did a multiple mistakes in a starting 30 to 40 minutes and after that we realize and then interviewer showcase that so if you still have any doubt if you have still any questions if you writing still any code you just communicate that i create this entity then i uh, i i am using packet design pattern or packet design pattern for this okay so after that um, after completing uh, this okay then a uh, low level design ask in a two way first is they directly give you a question and they tell you design the whole system interview may not expect you to run your whole code or whatever test case interview give it will be passed but in machine coding round okay interviewer expect you to write down the whole uh, business logic and um, your test case will be run like in my one of my interview interview asked me uh, to design a battleship game okay in that game like uh, two battle uh, battleships are um, throwing uh, rockets to each, uh, each other okay or whatever uh, battleship uh, win you to showcase that okay so it contain lots of test cases and one more uh, in interview interview asked me to design whole book my show which i uh, uh, designed already okay both uh, concept okay so i properly answer that okay so so in machine coding round you need to make sure that your test case is uh, working fine or and your system is run, uh, system is running if your system is uh, if your uh, project is not running and your test case not uh passing meant you have failed in that interview okay you need to make sure that uh, you need to clarify that like it is a machine coding round or it is a, like low level design you to understand the concept and all okay okay so let's jump to one example i will showcase you everything okay so here um, i design the book my show uh, or you can say like ticket booking system okay so first i write down the functional requirement okay so what is a functional requirement user able to search movie ticket with respect to city user able to book a ticket user able to cancel a ticket user able to see see a booking history okay so what are the non functional requirement so consistency in a booking system because what happen huge load we are receiving in your system so multiple thread communicate with our uh, methods like uh, we need to check uh, take care that like particular uh, uh, seat is uh, already book or not okay if it is not booked then you to book that in that particular time period uh, you need to lock the particular seat so you need to use multi threading and concurrency concept in that okay so it is a non functional requirement okay after that understanding the whole uh, requirement i write down the whatever entity is present in a system okay so we have user entity address entity then mobile entity cinema hall Uh, show then seat and booking okay so after that i design whole of flow diagram okay so user register to your system log after that logging to a system then user search a movie ticket with respect to a city then user s- select the particular seat 
then user make a payment then after making a payment user receive sms email and a push notification okay so after successfully booking user able to uh, see uh, booking history okay this uh, this is my flow diagram okay so with respect to that okay i create a class level diagram okay so in class level diagram i mention a properties and a behavior okay whatever properties i have on behavior we have so properties like user uh, have name email id password role then behaviors like user able to book ticket cancel a uh, ticket then uh, check a uh, booking history okay so here uh, whatever de de uh, design uh, i use multiple design pattern so for example here i have a uh, seat uh, service then payment service then notification service okay so i use facet design pattern to combine that in a book ticket method okay so in that way you can implement your uh, design patterns okay in particular real world application that i am talking about so after that i use a single responsibility uh, of a solid principle for example here seat service have only uh, responsibility of uh, checking a seat available or not okay then payment service is basically have responsibility to make a payment or a refund okay then notification is have only one responsibility to send a no notification so in that way you can implement oops concept uh, then design patterns okay uh, then solid principle in your real world application okay so after designing the whole uh, class level diagram interviewer may be asked you to write a code okay so i suggest you to practice at least 10 uh, real world applications so you can familiar with all those concept and your uh, coding speed will be also increased so that are the enough top topic required for a low level design and machine coding round okay i again i suggest you to practice make your perfect so do lots of practice design multiple systems okay if you still have any question please write down comment okay and if you like our video give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel share with your friends and colleagues who are same tech stack let's meet on next video till then happy coding